Hey, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to take your doors off of your Jeep Gladiator. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the right tools to remove these doors. Thankfully, Jeep gives you a little tool kit. Now, if you don't have this tool kit, um, you're going to need a Torx 50 and a Torx 40. I can turn my light on to show you those there. So a T50 and a T40. Those are the two you're gonna to need to remove these doors. And then of course your ratchet right there. This is to take your windshield wipers off if you wanted to put your windshield down. Uh, so that's what that is for. But uh, you're gonna need these two to remove the doors. So the first thing that I always do is the next step. And the next step is to put all the windows down. So there's a reason for doing that. Number one, it is a lot easier to handle the doors with the windows down because you can use the upper sill as a handle. But the other thing is that if these doors were to fall while being stored, they're less likely to break the glass out um, if they're down and protected inside the door. So now that we've done that, we can get our tools and start with the front door. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're taking off the front doors is there's a plastic piece right here you want to get your fingers in there and you want to pull it towards yourself because there's two clips right there and that'll come out just like so. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is there's a red safety right here. You push that up and then there's a button. There's a black button right there. Press that down and then you can put that up and that goes just like so and it'll actually push that wiring harness right out of there. So now that you've done that, you can also bring the door in a little bit and get this safety uh, strap off. Easier to do with two hands than one, but that comes off just... So the first thing that I recommend doing before you take the inside brace off, uh, now that we have our wiring harness disconnected and the strap disconnected, you're going to want to take these bolts on the doors off first. And it's a procedural thing that it's easier taking these bolts out when the doors are closed. And there's a brace that you need to disconnect on the uh, front doors that is right here. And you cannot let this go back into the door because you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get it reattached when you put your doors back on. So that needs to be out when you take this door off. So. Like I said, it's easier to get these bolts out while the doors are closed and then do the inside brace and then take the door off. So you're gonna want your Torx 50 for this and you're just gonna start loosening them up. Be careful you don't hit the paint, you don't dent the vehicle because you want your Gladiator to look good for the rest of its life. I'll get these out and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so just grab your Torx 40, get it in there, and that comes out real nice and easy. Kind of hard to do with videoing and doing this with one hand, so please bear with me. Maybe I'll speed up this part of the video. Now it's very important that this piece right here stays out. Otherwise, you will have a hard time getting that to go on the door uh, when you put your doors back on at a later time. So at this point, do not close your door. It is ready to come off and it needs to come off um, open. This piece needs to be out, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting it back in. So I'm going to figure out a way to video myself taking this off, so here we go. All right, so now it's time to take your door off. Remember, do not close this door. Uh, the best way to do it on the front door is kind of using the mirror um, and you can use the handle on the inside of the door uh, to lift it up and you're just going to want to lift it kind of straight up and you see that it will out just like so. Now you're going to want to find a place to set this. Um, I've got a piece of wood set up against the wall over here and I'll show you once I get that in place. So you can see I got just a piece of wood on the floor so it doesn't get onto your concrete or 
in this case tile and chip your paint um, I find two by fours work really well then just lean it up against the wall remember having the window out makes it easier or window down makes it easier to lift and transport and um, all that good stuff just be very careful when you put the door back on that this piece does not get pushed in because it is very hard to get out and it's very hard to um, attach, reattach when you're putting the doors back on. All right, now it's time for the back door. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna move this front seat all the way up. And I'll show you why in just a second here. As we go in here, you're gonna have to get this door off as well on um, this strap so you just kind of pull it's got two um, quick disconnects down there and then this is not as elaborate as the front one it's just a little tab right there you push that so you push this tab in pull down and then you can uh, get that off you can also get your strap off right there it's considerably easier than the front door and then you're going to want to get your Torx um, 40 here, make sure that you do those bolts on the outside before you do the back one. And I'm gonna do all that. And uh, then we'll take that back door off too. All right, now remember, keep this door open. Take your Torx 40 and get this one out of there. Once again, this one is considerably easier to get out than the front door, so. I don't know if that's by design or why that is. Anyways, remember, keep this door open because if this goes in, you're not going to have a fun time. So the back ones are the Torx 50 as well. And real easy. Remember not to chip your paint. Don't put a dent in your door or anything like that. Take it nice and slow. This isn't a race. So the cool thing about Jeep is they give you a little spot to hold all your door hinge bolts and uh, everything. So you can just put those right in here. This corner is for your actual door uh, outside bolts. And then this is supposed to be for your windshield bolts, but I find that those ones that hold the hinge um, into place they fit in there nicely so there's four of those too so that'd be nice and then it has a cover right there that way you don't lose any of your bolts and they're all in a nice safe spot so now that we got everything disconnected down there we've got the hinge disconnected you can just lift this door off as well and uh, once again using the handle you don't want to lift kind of towards you don't want to lift kind of towards the bottom of the door and on this side so it comes up nice and straight. And this door is actually pretty light. It's probably about, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds, maybe 40. Um, but it's pretty light and uh, you can transport it pretty easily. But you can see why it's nice to have the windows down for carrying purposes. And you can see that those line up nicely. Just get a small piece of wood and you can store those anywhere. I actually have hangers in my garage that have two poles and I just set my doors on those poles. So, so I actually hung them on my wall um, in my garage. Uh, I'll get a picture of those and throw that in the video, how those looked. Um, but that's how you take your doors off. So this is what it looks like when you have the doors off. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informational. And remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how to get your hard top off of your Gladiator in the upper right, a link to how to get your Wrangler hard top off in the lower left, and a link to me putting the doors back on this vehicle in the lower right if you want to watch that. Uh, just to make sure that you're putting them on right. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I really appreciate you checking out my video.